strong contender for the most memorable ending in literature. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskela, and welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset. Oh, uh, is this the last commercial? Start, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's a true delight to turn in your fingertips. With his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination. That is enamel stock, gloss lamination. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh. Wake set a high that's so s that's sad. I say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of this, your seat from this start. This book blurb. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? Oh, his damn breath sucks. <laughs> there you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. Oh, yeah. that's that's hard to watch. That's sad. Obviously, he, you know, his brother was there for him all the time. Uh, ugh. Well, that was the last commercial. I got the I trophy. I needed to get a copy it. of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending. Dear fans, version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. The novel begins as a murder mystery, but pulls the rug out from under and turns into an all-out supernatural horror. All right, Granny, calm down. The book continually subverts expectations. <laughs> See, I expected the Costcolors to become taken because of their similarities to the Hotari brothers. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I wish they would have at least both lived. the fucking float that we made are back wake clearly knows what his fans what the fuck why are you in a towel homie like you're out in pop oh my gosh there's multiple people in town what no it's not that's no conclusion that's just she died You need a better end, you need at least... I don't know. Who, what do I know about writing books and stuff? <laughs> God damn it, I hope his brother fucking comes back or something. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Oh! Sick, sick story! Shit. Oh. <sighs> that wasn't the way to go, I guess. <laughs> I thought maybe that locked door might be open now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Everyone turned on me just like I thought they would. It was said get out of the back at the beginning. I didn't hear that at first. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Oh, is that in the old folks' home? <clears throat> I have no ammo. I needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. Uh, you got me a little bit, but not, inside. not as much. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to go through the gate. I have to find another way inside. No, not that way. Not that way. <laughs> what, you want me to have to go inside the old folks' home? Damn it. Alice? What was that? A lice? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? I don't know. Nothing in here. Hello. I don't remember too much of this place. It had been a while since we were in the the old folks home. Oh, I remember there was a two halves people in here or whatever like the little a little like one person up one person there same person just whatever two halves of the top that Al is Ah, it's your hot fucker. Oh. I'm like I can't see. Uh oh. Oh, goodness. Ah! He got me again. No. <laughs> oh. 
I have to do it all over again? Damn it. Oh, that's why it's different. Ah! Let me out. For now. We're safe in the light, Alan. For now. Yeah, for it now, exactly. Very pushy. Rose, right? I know he is. From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. <laughs> right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Used to work at the diner, now she works at fucking the old folks' home. Even though the house isn't completely all lit up, I guess it's safe. For now. Anything Upstairs. I can pick up? The writer's no. room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Makes sense. Um. We loop around and ah. come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Why does it make... You didn't even meet him in the last game. Mm. Now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start painting your underpants. Then <laughs> start painting okay. your underpants. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Do you say the now matter is a stake or mistake? Thank you, Ahti. Is this the end of the line? Ugh. The fucking room. This fucking room. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Gold, we're at the ending of return. I needed an ending Plot that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Writer's room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Eternal Deerfest, the novel return come true. My final divine work of art. First granted to the people in Bright Falls, and over time it would spread, this celebration reaching everyone. Okay. Let's get to work. Return's ending was an eternal Deerfest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. 
It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. Oh, I understand. There we go. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. Every damn the person will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Plowboard, pay the price. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. End of chapter. The final DFS. I know everyone probably wants to rock out, but you know what? I can't get those. Even though I'm not making money yet, can't get those copyright strikes. You know, don't want people getting mad at me. And then maybe one day I start making money, and then they're like, "Well, we own this video because the the music." What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. Nope. No. It's the mine place. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. Where is everything? My mind My is a blank. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Watch, you're gonna scare the shit out of me by popping in here. Saga! I can't leave. Why can't I leave? I can't sense anyone. Let me leave, god damn it. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? That wasn't me. <laughs> oh. What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? changing on its own Okay Other saga The board says I failed them Who's them? Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. 
powerless. I'm not powerless. I'm not what powerless. Is here? This isn't me. She's like this bitch. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. Uh. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. I mean, like, I don't like no. the danger of the job. It's more of the, you know, successfully helping people kind of thing, you know? Your daughter. I'm a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. <laughs> you, Logan died because of you. You're a terrible mother. All right, well. Shit happens, I guess. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. You were a terrible partner. It's your fault he got hurt. I'm a terrible par I was doing all the work while this motherfucker is like staying in a goddamn police station all the time. I don't even know. I'm a terrible partner. Fuck yourself. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. You're a terrible detective. You lost your mind. Yeah, well. What a weenie the story self down my, life, uh -huh. my family is just part of a book another white asshole deciding what i get to do another white oh, asshole it. deciding what he i took get to my do daughter from me. <laughs> i'll never be free of this story from him. i just hate white he assholes <laughs> he used her all right logan is dead She's not dead. God damn it. Logan is dead. Logan is dead. And Logan is dead. This is, this is kind of dumb. Huh? All right, we get it. Oh, the picture's getting darker. I see. I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Uh huh. So. Something's very fucking wrong here. Obviously. I hated him. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. Is he gonna play an episode? No? Okay. I never should have trusted these. Yeah, whatever those are. Don't trust the stack of papers. Casey what was is? being corrupted, and I did nothing. Huh? Subject, Ali Casey. Description of injury. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussions? Similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected, but not confirmed. You knew he was hurt. You knew the dark president did something. You care only and pretend to care. We're convenient, sick, and blah, 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 blah. Scratch How dare weak. you? How could I miss that? Hey, we were all, that was all a thing to us, kind of. K.E. <laughs> Mr. Wake, you have been taken to FBC custody and received in-depth uh, inter 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 in
And then Jake, you know, I need to ask if there's anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. And then wait, there's a force here you don't understand, a presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. There was so many hands. How did you miss a wake or scratch? It was right under your nose. Awake, scratch, scratch, with wake, wake, scratch, scratch. <laughs> well, I'm stupid. I told you guys. Jesus. Sorry. Paper that's all angry. There's no way out. This case, this room, is any of it even real? I don't know. How many deer do I need? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. You suck. You suck. You suckiest partner ever. So suck. No. So dumb. Scratch. Oh. He's using Casey now. Like he used Wake. Ew, that picture of Casey was fucked. I couldn't protect Casey from Scratch. <laughs> Casey has got your fucking fault. Casey was injured. You can back up. You weren't there. This has all been a hallucination. You've lost your mind. Shadow monsters, false realities, magical writers. Really? They could scratch all along. I had no idea. Idiot, 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 It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Use a manuscript page of crutch instead of doing my job. <laughs> Pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. I took Logan away from her father. <laughs> you bitch. It was so obvious the Coscula brothers were behind the cult. Yeah, but they weren't bad people. Why do you hate me? Huh? The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Come on, what are the Little shit do I need to find? I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. Oh. I spent too much time away from Logan. Do 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 Logan was alone. She spent every day by herself in that trailer. I abandoned my partner to investigate on my own. So eager to be in charge that he left him behind. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. You fucked this case up so badly that the FBC took over. I mean, they just take over whenever anything's wrong. Emo and Yakko were running a cult right under my nose. What kind of detective are you? They were right in front of you. No. There has to be a way out. 
I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. <laughs> I need a way out. It's over. There is no point trying. Everything is lost. There is no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. <gasps> Dear. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Yeah, this is my mind place. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Oh, there we go. I'm like, look how. Don't have your flashlight, bitch. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. See, look, she never came with me to Washington. No, I'm not reading anymore. Like, fuck the manuscript. My page. badge. Never should have taken this case. My badge and my guns. My gun badge. Hey. Saga, just for what it's worth, I think it's. Let me wait. Oh, sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, boss. Really. Okay. Talk soon. All right, Saga. For what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up, seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That will teach her so much. There will be times just like this when you question your choices, your confidence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you always, Mom. Even with the dark thoughts, you still have those good ones in there. 